Gonna go catch me some food. Wait, what's this? You are here. Hey, look, it's me. Meet me here. Creepy hut in the woods. Okay. Note saying to come here. Come in. So, who's here? It's me! Ah! I thought you died! No, they tried to kill me. My stupid son shot me in the head. Good thing I'm hard headed. <laughs> but the van exploded. I jumped out, big whoop! Well, listen, I don't want to talk to you. You got me in trouble. What if I told you I could make you rich? I'm listening. How about this time? Instead of kidnapping Jeffy, we kidnap a whole bus full of kids. They'll give us like 20 million to get all those brats back. Okay, I like it, I like it. Okay, so tomorrow morning, go out and steal a school bus and bring it back here. All right. Jeffy, it's time to go to school. Hey, Danny, can I miss school today since it's my birthday? No, Jeffy, you're not going to miss school. Come on, Marvin, let him miss a day of school for his birthday. But today's Monday. It's the first day of school. Oh, yeah, Jeffy, you can't miss the first day of school. It's the most important day. You guys suck. I hate you. Marvin, I am kind of nervous. I think I have PTSD after what happened last year. Listen, his mom's dead. There's no way he's going to get kidnapped again. Okay. Hey, Danny, after school, can we go to the strip club so I can get my willy wet? No, Jeffy, go to the bus stop. <sighs> Fine. Whoa, is that a dog in the road? Oh no, 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 no. I hit a poor maroon dog. Why, God? Why? Ugh. Now, how do you start this thing? Oh yeah, down here. Ah, yeah, listen to that baby purr. Hey, who's at my bus? Hey, get back here with my bus right now. Hey, hey. Oh, God damn it. Oh, man, I don't want to go back to school. I know I hate it, dude. Well, today's my birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Jeffy. Yeah, yeah happy, happy birthday, birthday, dude. It's such a birthday's on the first day of school. But he gets the best gift of all, education. Oh, I just want to punch Cody. Yeah, you're such a nerd, Cody. Shut up. No one likes school like you do. Oh, look, guys, it's, it's the bus. Maybe the teacher will let you go home early today because it's your birthday. Yeah, maybe. And hopefully there's strippers in your classroom. Yeah, hopefully. Let's go. Hey, where's your old bus driver? He called in sick. Okay. Junior, why you screwball our bus driver? He said Jackie Chu called in sick. But isn't he a kidnapper? Dude, he's a clown. Yeah, he's trying to turn his life around, Cody. Stop trying to profile him. Yeah, okay, but if we get kidnapped, I'm gonna be mad. We're not gonna get kidnapped, we're going to school. Oh, oh, he stole my goddamn bus. That piece of shit. What, what? Oh, my bus! Hey, motherfucker! Give me my bus back! Give me my goddamn bus back! Uh, guys, Shaggy Chew's banging on the window. Uh, Junior, I don't think we're going to school. Uh-oh. Hey! 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 I'm gonna get you, you motherfucker! Did you get the bus full of kids? Yeah, I have the bus full of kids. Is Jeffy on it? Yeah, I think so. You think so or yes? Both. Are you sure it's really him this time? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, just bring him back to the house. All right, I'm on my way. So Marvin, what are we gonna get Jeffy for his birthday this year? Well, he's 19 years old and he already has a car. Then why did he take the bus to school? So he can see his friends for his birthday. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I was thinking maybe we could sign for an apartment for him. No, Marvin, he can't move out. Well, he's 19 years old, baby. He has to move out eventually. He's in the fifth grade, Marvin. Yeah, he's 19 years old in the fifth grade. Isn't that a little weird? Yeah. Who's at the door? Hello? <sighs> Piece of shit! Piece of shit stole my bus! What? Somebody stole the bus with all the kids in it! But someone stole the bus with the kids in it! Yeah, I need to come inside and use your phone! I'll come inside! Baby, 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 where's my phone? What's wrong, Marvin? A clown stole the bus with all the kids in it! Marvin, you said Jeffy wouldn't get kidnapped! Well, listen, we just, we just gotta figure out what's going on. So what exactly happened? So I was driving the bus, and then all of a sudden I see Baroon Dog in the road. And I stop the bus, get out and check on the Baroon Dog, and then the clown jump in the bus and steal the bus with all the kids in it! Is the Balloon Dog okay? No, he popped. Oh, no! So everything you did was pointless? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, well, let me grab my phone. You can call the cops. Here's my phone. It's already ringing. 
Hello, 911, what's your emergency? A clown stole my bus with all the kids in it. A clown stole your bus with all the kids in it. Yes. Is it some kind of prank call? No, it was a black clown with orange hand. He stole my bus. <sighs> okay, what color is your bus? Yellow. What, like a school bus? Yes. Oh, well that explains why there'd be kids in it. Okay, I'll tell my officers to look for a school bus with kids in it, but it is the first day of school, so it might take us a while to find the right one. But it is being driven by a clown, so I guess that's different. Okay, thank you. What'd he say? He's gonna do it. Oh my god, Jeffy got kidnapped again on his birthday! Poor Jeffy! Oh man, Simmons, I'm so glad we found this dirt road we can park at. We can just sit here and take naps all day. Nobody ever comes by here. Yeah, we're literally getting paid to sleep. Yeah, this is the life. Hold on, I'm getting a call. What? Oh man, it's the chief. Hello? Officer guy? Yeah, it's me, chief. Uh, me and Simmons are doing so much work, we're arresting so many people. Oh yeah, so many people. Yeah, we are saving lives out here. Well, I need you two to be on the lookout for a yellow school bus being driven by a clown. Okay, what, why? Well, apparently the clown stole the school bus and kidnapped the kids. Okay, well, we'll be on the lookout for that. Okay, Simmons, the chief wants us to find a yellow school bus being driven by a clown. He was probably just getting pranked. Simmons, was that a clown driving a school bus? Yeah, it looked like it. Well, time to turn on the wee woo lights. Oh, that's my favorite part. <laughs> Simmons, I think this is the stolen bus! Pull over, jackass! You're not getting away! Uh, guys, where do you think he's taking us? Ooh, mini Disney World! Yeah, he's probably taking us to Disney World! I don't think so. Guys, the cops are behind us! Oh shit, the cops! Hold on! What's going on? I think the cops are following me! Well, you better lose them! Alright, I'll try! Hold on, kids! It's gonna be a bumpy ride! You should ram him. What, ram him? Ram him! Wait, okay, I'm gonna ram him. Go, Dad, go! All right, I'm gonna ram him. Three, two, one. Son of a bitch ran me. Mate, he went to the field. I know, but I fucked up the car. What? The car, I fucked it up. I knew I shouldn't have rammed the bus. Let's just pull over and look at the damage. Oh man, Simmons, the police letters came off. Uh, mate, we got a bigger problem. We got a flat tire. Yeah, but the police letters, though. Now how are people gonna know we're cops? We look like Walmart security. Well, we got the blue lights. Yeah, still not gonna help us stop the bus. Wait, I know where they're going. We can, we can cut them off with a roadblock. Come on, Simmons. Okay, Simmons, I know he's headed this way. So whenever he sees the roadblock, he's gonna stop and ask you to move. But then whenever he stopped, I'm gonna run up and shoot him in the head with my police-issued Uzi with silencer and extended mag. All right, mate, sounds like a good plan. But what if he hits me? He's not gonna hit you, Simmons. This is a cop car, that's illegal. All right. All right, let's shoot some clowns. A roadblock, huh? You ram me, I'm gonna ram you. He's not gonna hit that cop car, is he? Oh, I hope so, dude, that'd be sick. Yeah, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Not gonna hit it. He hit it. Ugh, this thing ain't got no airbag. Sorry. Uh, he hit the cop car. Oh, that was so sick, dude. That was awesome. Ugh, that was the titties. I flew all the way in the front. Now that he's disabled, I'm gonna give him some Uzi. Come here, clown. You're gonna die. Penelope, I'm coming! Uh, 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 
Oh my god, Penelope! How'd you like that RPG, huh? What? You're still alive? Die, bitch! Uh, oh no, I'm out of ammo! Die, coppers! <laughs> Got it, stupid ass! Get ready to join your daughter, you piece of shit! What'd you say? Die! Uh, die! Well, I made sure she's dead this time. But I lost my daughter, I lost my partner, and I lost all those kids. Alright, Marvin, when Jeffy gets home from school, we can celebrate his big birthday blowout! You do know he's kidnapped, right? The cops are gonna save him, Marvin, and everything's going to be fine. We can have cake, we can blow up balloons, we can open presents, it's gonna be great! How are you so happy? Because, Marvin, I'm trying to distract myself! <laughs> that might be the cops at the door! I hope so! Hello? Hey, Marvin. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Did you find Jeffy? Kinda. Okay, where is he? Um, let me just come in and explain. Okay! Baby, it was the cops! Did he find Jeffy? He said they did! I said kinda. So, where's Jeffy? Uh, wait, is it your birthday? I don't want to give you bad news on your birthday. What? It's bad news? Yeah. Well, no, it's not my birthday, it's Jeffy's birthday. Oh, God! We're gonna have a big birthday blowout! Oh, God! Can you help us blow up these balloons? Oh, God! There's just so many pieces! Oh, God! When Jeffy sees this party, his face is gonna explode. Oh, God! But we have to finish setting up, otherwise it's gonna be a disaster! Oh, God! And I want this party to go perfect, because I don't want to kill a bunch of kids dreams. Oh, God! So where's Jeffy? Well, we did manage to find the bus, and we managed to stop it, but just as I was running to save the kids, the bus got blown up by a rocket launcher. What? A rocket launcher? Who shot that? Jeffy's mom. I thought she was dead! Yeah, we thought so too, but it turns out she only got shot in the head. She didn't actually die. The bullet was just stuck in her skull. But don't worry, I shot her in the head a whole bunch of more times, so she's definitely dead now. There's no way she's coming back next year with a bunch of bullets in her face. That would just be silly. So are the kids okay? I thought we were past this. They got blown up by a rocket launcher. Oh my god, no! Wait, 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 so Jeffy's dead? Yes. Oh my god, baby, I can't believe this. I, I mean, my daughter was on the bus too, so she's dead. And my partner. So oh, mine's no. kind of a little bit more sad, if you think about it. I mean, I don't want to make this into a pissing contest, but, you know, I mean, your kid was adopted. I actually had my kid, you know, adopted kid, blood kid. Seems a little worse to me. It's gonna be okay. And I'm still at work, you know, I gotta go around and tell people the kids are dead. That's sad. You know, I mean, throw some sympathy my way. Give me some boo-hoos. You know, I'm having a pretty rough day over there. Oh, I can't believe Jeffy died. I'm sorry, were you saying something? Uh, never mind. <laughs> well, oh, great. First my kid dead, and now there's someone at the door. Uh, I mean, I don't think you can really compare the two, but sure. Oh, can you please answer the door with me? It might be someone scary. How many scary people do you get at your door? Can you please just answer the phone with me? <laughs> Hello? I'm sorry. Marvin, it's the clown that kidnapped the kids! Well, shoot him! I don't have my gun! I might. Simmons? I thought you were dead! No, I escaped the police car. Then I ran over to the bus and rescued the children. Hey, Dad! Penelope! Jeffy! Wait, but Simmons, where are the rest of the kids? Oh, I dropped them off at their houses, and Junior wanted to hang out with his friends. Oh, good, but wait, 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 wait. Simmons, how did you get out in time? I saw everything explode! Oh, I'll tell you. Watch this flashback. Ugh. Ugh. I gotta get the kids out of the bus! Ugh. Come on, kids, get off the bus! That was a pretty cool flashback, Simmons. Thanks, mate. Come on inside! Alright. <laughs> Baby, guess what? What? Mommy, I'm alive! Oh my god, Jeffy! Thank goodness! Hey, I'm alive too. So that clown's gonna go to jail forever, right? Oh yeah, definitely. Multiple kidnappings and attempted murder. I didn't try to kill anybody. You rammed the cop car with your bus. Well, to be fair, we rammed him first. Hmm, I guess that's true. I guess they do kind of cancel each other out. But still, definitely the kidnappings, though. Alright, listen. What if I can make you some pretty cool animal balloons? Then I won't go to jail, right? Hmm. Nice try, but no. Go wait in the cop car. Okay. Wait, so you're gonna just let him walk to the cop car? He knows how to get there. Marvin, now we can throw Jeffy's birthday party! Yeah, you have a big birthday blowout! And go to these strip clubs! Hey, I'm down. Simmons, drive us to the strip club! Uh, we don't have a car, mate. It blew up in the explosion. Wait, if we don't have a car, then how is the clown waiting in the car? Well, I don't know. I Ubered here. I is the Uber still outside? No. Oh. He ran away. Yeah, the clown definitely ran away. This could very well happen again. Wait, 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 wait. So, isn't it kind of cheap that the last movie had a big explosion and this movie had a big explosion? I mean, hey, look, Star Wars blew up the Death Star twice. A actually, three times, if you think about it, if you count the new ones, you know, so, so we're original, we're fine. Let's walk to the strip club. Okay. What do you want to do today?
Okay. Dude, we should play cops and robbers. That would be so fun. Yeah, we could tie Ken up as a hostage and spank him. We're playing cops and robbers, Cody. Yeah, we're not doing that. No one's getting spanked. You guys take the fun out of everything. I want to be a robber. Me too. I guess I'll be a cop. I totally thought you want to be a robber, Joseph. Why? Is it because I'm black, huh? I can't be a good guy like a cop? Oh, no, no. I just thought you wanted to be a robber since you, you like to steal things. Yeah, you know. You know I like to be bad. I'll be a bad guy. But it's not because I'm black. Okay, so now we need someone to be the cop. Cody, you got to be the cop. What? No, I want to be a robber so I can tie him up and spank him. We all can't be robbers, Cody. You have to be the cop. But what reason would a cop possibly have to spank someone? Well, maybe you're interrogating Ken because you think he's a robber, so you spank him to get answers out of him. No, that would be a total abuse of my power. I'd get fired. It works much better if I'm a robber. Okay, so for all robbers, then who's going to be the cop? Uh, you could ask Chef Evie to be a cop. He'd love to play. Yeah. Chef Evie! Oh, what do you want, Junior? We're playing cops and robbers. We need you to be the cop. I'm not going to be a cop for this stupid game. Bye. Okay, so Chef Evie's the cop. But he, he just said he wasn't playing. He's totally just joking around. He's totally going to be the cop. He's going to go put uniform on right now. Okay. Okay, so uh, Cody, me, Joseph, and Jeffy are going to be the robbers, and we need you to be the hostage. Wait, 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 wait. I thought I was a robber. No, you and Ken gotta be hostages. You wanna get spanked, right? Yes, very much. Okay, so you're gonna be the teller at the bank, and we're gonna come rob you, and we're gonna kidnap you and Ken as a hostage, okay? <laughs> okay. All right, let's go be robbers, guys! All right, guys, we're gonna bust into this bank, put a gun to the teller's head, and say, bitch, put all the money in the bag, or you're gonna die today. Yeah, and then put a bullet straight between their eyes. <laughs> no, 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 we're not, we're not killing anyone, Joseph. No, 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 we have to kill a hostage just to show them we're not playing. Well, no, 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 we're gonna grab two hostages, and we're not gonna kill them unless we have to. You know, it's just cops and robbers, not cops and murderers. But why is the gun loaded, huh, if we're not gonna hurt anybody? Just in case we have to, in case the cops come. Listen, Joseph, we're not... I, I really think we should hurt somebody. We're, we're, we're not hurting anyone. Listen, listen, I'm gonna bust the door down. We're gonna rob this bank, okay? Okay. Ow! Damn. What's this door made out of? Cardboard. I hurt my shoulder. Okay, we're gonna bust that gun. I'm sorry, sir. It doesn't matter how much you flex your muscles at me. It's bank policy. No shirt, no servant. Everyone on the ground, there's a stick up. Oh my god, a robbery. I'm calling the cops. Stop, bitch. What? Ken, no. You were only supposed to spank him. Why'd you kill him, Joseph? Dude, he was asking for it. And we gotta show him we're not playing. We ain't playing. 911, what's your emergency? Put the cash in the bag right now, bitch! And no funny business, no die packs, no silent alarms, or you will get a bullet in your head. You got that? Yes, I understand. Oh my god, man, we're on our way. Yeah, put the cash in the bag right now! Right now! JT Wentworth, 877 cash now, ho! Okay. Go, go, put the money in the. Put the, go, hurry, hurry! Yeah, right now! You can have the money, just please don't spank me. Just spank him, dude. <sighs> Oh no, don't spank me. Oh no. I'm not I'm not doing it anymore. Oh come on, one more. Oh the alarm's going on! You pulled the alarm! I told you don't do it, man! Oh, no, don't kill her, don't kill her. She's our last hostage! Okay, we're gonna take her with us. Okay, Joseph, you grab the money, I'm gonna grab the hostage. Oh, I got the you come with us, you come with us. Yeah. Let's go, let's go before the cops get here. Dude, look at all this cash! We're gonna be rich! You better not scream or say a single word. Ooh, don't shoot me, daddy. That's hot. Oh, Jeffy, make sure she doesn't talk. I got you, Junior. Say a word. Say a single word, and I'll blow your brains out, and you'll never see your family again. Jesus. Look, come on, Jeffy. We, we got to go. Make my day, ho. Uh, Jeffy, they're leaving. Come on, Jeffy. Let's go. Sorry, sorry, sir. I just got a call. We got a code black, an armed robbery in progress. Did they take any hostages? Well, they killed one, and they took another one. Jesus. Officer Simmons! Yes, sir? Assemble the Avengers. I'm sorry, sir, but the Avengers aren't real. Damn. Well, at least get me Iron Man. He's dead, sir. Mm, I'm not caught up on the movies. Okay, look, you two are my only officer, so how are we gonna find these robbers? Well, I guess I could track the hostage's phone. Maybe we could find their hideout that way. Good. I want you to find these robbers and kill them. Kill them, sir? You don't want us just to arrest them? No, I don't want to waste taxpayer money on these bozos. I want them dead. I want their families dead. I want their house burned to the ground. Oh, oh okay, sir. What are you two still doing here? Get out, go! It's okay. Okay, we made it back to the house. Did the cops follow us? No, dude, no one followed us. We're safe. Let's start counting that cash, please! Yeah, let's count this cash! What do we do with the hostage? Oh, dude, we should kill her right now. No, 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 what if the cops come? We need a hostage. Dude, we're safe and sound. The cops aren't showing up here. Boys, boys, whatever you do, don't have your way with me. Yeah, shoot her right now, dude. Yeah, I'm a shooter. No, 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 l l listen, you already have so many charges, what's one more? And besides, if you guys go to prison, you'll never see a woman ever again, so... <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god, the cops are here! Dude, I'm not going to jail, I can't go down like this! Hey, not yet, we're busy! Oh, no, 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 okay, look, let's go to the cops, and let's tell them that we have a hostage, if they try anything funny, we'll blow our brains out! Okay, dude, let's uh, go, let's go, come on! We have the place surrounded, come out with your hands up or you will be shot! 
I thought the boss wanted us to kill him. I know, but I'm trying to get him out here so we can shoot him. We're not playing around! Come on out here! Man, Chef PB's really into his cop character. Yeah, dude. Uh, Junior, that doesn't sound like Chef PB's voice. It's Chef PB's cop voice. You never heard it before? Bro, he deserves an Oscar. Ooh, Joseph, you should go out there and shoot at Chef PB. Ooh, I like that idea. Wish me luck, dude! Junior, did, did Joseph really just get shot? No, Cody, we're playing pretend cops and robbers. Chef he doesn't really have a gun. That's, that's clearly just sound effects he's using out loud. And he doesn't have a real gun. It's just Chef Pee, Pee. You know, we're just playing a game, Cody. Man, Chef Pee Pee's going pretty hard. We killed your friend. Just come out now or you'll be dead too. Uh, Junior, I'm starting to think those are really cops and they really just shot Joseph. Cody, just because Chef Pee Pee's going extra hard for his role and you're not even trying, don't say anything. But not even trying, Junior. You're the one who didn't want to spank me or have your way with me. I'm obviously a hostage that has Stockholm Syndrome. Now bang me. What are you brats yelling about in here? Chef Pee Pee, what are you doing inside the house? You're supposed to be out there being the cops. I told you I'm not playing that stupid game with you. Wait a minute. If you're in here, then that means... Uh-oh. Wait, Chef Pee, so you're not the cops outside right now? Wait, wait, the cops are outside? What are they doing here? Well, that's supposed to be you. I thought that was you. I was in the kitchen the whole time. But that means whoop-dee-doo. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So, Chef Pee, we were playing cops and robbers. Cody, how'd the cops get called? Well, maybe when I was pretending to dial 911 during the robbery, I actually called them. Oh, oh no. Chef Pee, I need your help. The, the cops actually think we're real robbers right now. Can you tell them we're not? All right, Bress, I can help you out. It's just a misunderstanding. I can talk to them. Okay, th thank you. All right, Mr. Officers, it's just a misunderstanding. I'm sorry. Oh, what are we going to do? Chef Pee just died. I'll go talk to him. No, no, Chef Pee, Chef Pee, Chef they do not want to talk to us. They're just trying to kill us. They think we're real robbers. Okay, we have to go upstairs right now. Let's go. All right, we killed another one of your friends. You want to come out here and make it three? I don't think they're going to fall for it a third time, mate. Yeah, you're right. But listen, there can't be that many more left. I mean, there's got to be like one, right? Yeah, you just want to bust in there and 2v1 them? Yeah, I think we can take them. Yeah, it's no building and all I got is a blue pistol. <laughs> yeah, we're not noobs. All right, hold on. Let me go grab my gun out of the car. All right. Guys, what are we going to do? Well, I'm the hostage, so I'm good. I'm just going to sit back and eat my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week for a year. <laughs> Shit. But Jeffy, we have to get out of these robber outfits, because that's how they're going to know we're the robbers. Good thinking, Junior. Hey, what about the money? What about it? When you're rich like this, you don't check the forecast every day, it's going to rain. Bit, bit, bit. Well, we have to get rid of the money, because if they see the money, they're going to know we're the robbers. So, so, Jeffy, you hide the money and get out of your outfit, okay? All right, Junior. <sighs> Where the hell is my gun? What? Let me check it here. No, it's not in there. Where the hell is it? Come on! All right, mate, what's taking you so long? I have misplaced my gun. I don't know where the hell it is. Well, did you check the glove compartment? Did you check the glove compartment? Yes, obviously I checked the glove compartment. Well, did you check underneath your seat? Yes, I checked underneath the seat. All I found was these stupid leftover cheese curds, and, man, I'm actually getting pretty hungry. Well, mate, you can eat the cheese curds after we kill these guys. Come on! I don't know, Simmons. I don't think I can kill these guys without some cheese curds in my belly. Oh, you're probably right. Enjoy your curds, mate. Thank you. I will. Okay, we took the robber outfits off, now we don't look like robbers. What'd you do with the money? I put it in the offshore bank account so no one can track it. Okay, good. So now we just go out there and tell the cops that we're not the robbers and they'll let us go. Well, they shot Chef Pee Pee and he wasn't dressed like a robber. <laughs> You're right, they did shoot Chef Pee Pee and he was just in a chef outfit. Okay, how do we get him not to shoot us? Well, you guys could dress up like girls, then they think you were hostages. <gasps> Jeffy, we have to dress up like girls like Cody and they'll think we're hostages, it's a good idea! Yeah, I'm gonna have big floppy knockers! Okay, let's go dress up like girls. Mm. Man, those cheese curds were delicious. There's my gun! <laughs> hey Simmons, guess what I found? Oh, you found your gun, mate. Where was it? It was right under the cheese curd. Oh, well then good call on eating those curds. <laughs> now let's go kill these guys. Yeah, come on. Okay, me and Jeffy are dressed up like female hostages, so we're gonna get saved. We're not gonna get shot like Joseph or Chef Pee Pee. Hey, you guys wanna see a tough muff? That's pretty tough. That, that's a power move. Yeah, I should have laid on the first date. So look, now that we're girls, no one's gonna kill us. And they're definitely gonna save me first because I'm the hottest. Wait, no, 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 no. I think we can all agree I'm the hottest. No, you look like a nerdy librarian. Well, yeah, guys have nerdy girl kinks. No, guys go for hot blondes. That's why I'm a blonde. You look like Joe Dirt. You look like you don't wash yourself. You look like you have a hairy butthole. Guilty as charged. You look like you take up the rum. Guilty as charged. Oh, well, listen, they're gonna save me first because I'm the hot blonde. No, I'm the hottest. Well, what do I look like? You look like a scary girl who died in a horror movie because she fell into a well. Facts. All right, look, let's just sit here, and when the cops get here, we'll ask them who they think is the hottest. Okay. Help! 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 All right, Simmons, you ready? Yeah, let's go. Okay, go! Oh, flashbang! Go, 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 go! Careful, Simmons, they could be anywhere. Come on out! Help! 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 Hey, Simmons, I think
think the hostages are in here? Ladies, you okay? All in. Uh, yeah, we're doing really good. Well, where are the robbers? Are they still here? Uh, well, there were only two robbers, and I think you already killed them. Whoa, you hear that, Simmons? There were only two robbers, and we killed them. Oh, the boss will be happy about that, mate. Yeah, I think our work here is done. I mean, you ladies are sure you're okay? Yeah, we're okay. I got a wicked camel toe. Okay. Well, I, I mean, I guess we should just go then. Wait, 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 officer. Which one of us is the hottest? Oh, well, to be completely honest, all three of you are extremely ugly. What? He definitely thought I was hottest. No, I was hottest. Babu, bap, bap, babu. Okay, that's the house we're gonna rob, okay? So you just go in there and you steal anything you can find that's valuable. I'm talking cash, jewelry, savings bonds, box tops, coupons, those little collectible half dollars, those go-gurts that give you a chance to win the Sweet Life on Deck cruise because I want to meet Zach and Cody. Anything you can find that's valuable. Listen, Freddy, I don't know if I can do this. What if I get caught? I, I can't go back to jail again. I just can't. Can you do it? Ugh, look, I'm not the one who's already dressed like Santa Claus. Well, I told you the gas station we could switch. That suit's not gonna fit me. You weigh like 200 pounds. You know that hurts my feelings. Oh, Jesus, Lenny. Okay, look, if you go in there and somebody sees you, they're not gonna know it's you. They're just gonna think it's Santa Claus. You know what? You're right. I need to stop being such a pussy. Let's go to shit. Yeah, Let's yeah. Go. <sighs> Now come on, where's the cash? Where's the food? Come on, come on, where's the savings bond? They ain't got shit in here! Well, I can at least check for the gopers. Come on, where's the sweet life on deck with Zack and Cody? Oh, Santa Claus! Oh, shit! How am I gonna get out of this one? Uh, hey there, little boy! Have you been good this year? Well, sometimes I say shit. Well, that's okay. You're still gonna get a ton of presents. Okay, but what are you doing here, Santa? It's not Christmas yet. Uh, Santa was here to fix your refrigerator. It's not working. You fix refrigerators? Yeah! How do you think we get all the money to make all the presents at the North Pole? Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, so, uh... Do you know where your parents keep all their special things? Well, my daddy says I'm special. Well, Jeffy, who are you talking to? I'm talking to Santa Claus, the refrigerator repairman. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! That's not Santa Claus. Shit! Oh, oh, no, no, I can't! All right, bye, Santa! Daddy, you okay? Come on, I'll lock the door! Sorry! Drive! Drive, 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 drive! Did you get any good stuff? No! I got caught to play to drive! Oh, God damn it! Oh. Uh. oh my god, Marvin, what happened to you? Santa Claus hit him in the face with a hammer. Why wasn't Santa in the North Pole? Because he was downstairs fixing the refrigerator. Marvin, what happened? Santa Claus hit me in the face with a hammer. Someone called the cops. Well, good news, Daddy. I already called him. <laughs> Maybe that's them. Hello? Hey there, you call the cops? Yes, yeah, Santa Claus hit me in the face with a hammer. Oh, that sucks. You got a package at your door? Can I come in and open it? I feel like there's more important things than my package at the door. Yeah, but I gotta come in anyway for your police report. Come on, can I bring it in and open it, please? I really like to see people's packages. I'm nosy. <sighs> okay, bring it in. Yay. Oh, I can't wait to open this. I don't remember ordering a package. Well, I can tell you who it's from. It's from today's sponsor, Displate. Collect your passions at Displate.com. What's a disc plate? Oh, Marvin, what's a disc plate? Dis is a disc plate. Now, every disc plate comes packaged in this brand new material called cardboard, and it's light yet durable. Here, I'll show you how to open it. See, look at that, that easy. No ripping, no tearing, no cussing, no fussing. And look at that, Spider-Man. So it's a poster? Oh, Marvin, disc plates are unique metal posters you can mount on your wall in just 20 seconds with no power tool since it's all magnetic. So you don't need to get a nail and nail it to the wall? No, nails are a thing of the Past. What do you even use nails for? Building houses? No, I'll show you how to hang this bad boy up. All right, Marvin, let me show you how easy this is. Let me get my instructions. 
All right, now the first thing you're gonna wanna do is clean your wall, because I'm assuming most people have dirty walls. So luckily, they give you this handy little cleaning wipe that you can just wipe the wall down so your magnet sticks better. Now the problem is I have little puppet hands, they don't work. So luckily I have Anthony here to help me out. Anthony, can I just open that for him? Mm-hmm. Show him how it's done. Well, you take the wipe out, see that? See that wipe? Now you wipe the wall down so it's nice and clean so that the magnet sticks good. Now, see, that's a, that's a clean wall right there. Now we just gotta wait 10 minutes for that to dry. Well, this, this wall's clean right here. Oh, well, why didn't you tell me? Oh, that's great. Okay, so now we can move on to step two. See, we got the protective leaf. It even tells you where to put the magnet. Anthony, you wanna stick that on the wall there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah see, see what he's doing? You, you rip that off, you stick it on the wall, uh huh, and then you tear the backing off. You work out those air bubbles. I don't want any air bubbles. Perfect, perfect, it looks great. See, and now, you know where to put your magnet. So you get your magnet here, and you just peel that blue part off, peel it, show them how to peel it. Great, and you stick that right where it tells you to. Yep, yep, see, the sticky part, right on there. Yep, see, it's perfect. Now we get to do my favorite part, tearing off the plastic. Ooh, that's good, oh, that is good. Oh, it's so satisfying. Oh, it's nice, yep, yep, get that off, Spider-Man. Now, you can hang Spider-Man. Look at that, you got Spider-Man right there on your wall. And what's that, you don't want Spider-Man on your wall? Well guess what, you can just swap it out with another one. Let me show you. They also have Shrek, move. Anthony, take down Spider-Man. I wanna put Shrek there. Look at that, now you have Shrek on your wall. Ooh, donkey! See how easy it was to swap those out? And look at this, look at those bended edges. See how bended those edges are? See, that's so there's no white on the outside. The poster is perfect, it just pops right out of the wall. That's so cool, so you have Shrek and Spider-Man? Oh, they get all kinds of stuff. They get movies, gaming, comics, nature, music, history, automotive, and so much more. Where are these bad boys manufactured? Very astute question, Marvin. Disc plates are manufactured in Europe and will reach you within four to five days. Yeah, you can find our very special recommendations using the link in the description. They're all Shrek. Displate is a good alternative to standard paper impressions or canvas printing. It's even cheaper using the special Christmas discount available through our link or promo code shown below. Buying one to two plates is 22% off and three or more are 33% off. This is the last call to get a displate ordered and delivered before Christmas. Okay, awesome. Wait, Marvin, why is your face like that? Oh, well, let's go to the couch and talk about it. Okay. All right, now tell me exactly what happened. So some guy who looks like Santa Claus broke into my house and hit me in the face with a hammer. Why would he hit you with a hammer? I don't know, he just did. Well, people don't just break into people's houses and hit them with hammers for no reason. You must have done something. Did you piss him off? I don't even know who he is. Well, you said he was Santa. I said he looks like Santa. Okay, so a guy who looks like Santa hit you with a hammer. Yes. Okay, well, I will go look for Santa. Okay, Simmons, we're looking for Santa Claus. Oh, I know where Santa Claus is. Where? The North Pole. No, Simmons, he has to be around here somewhere because he just broke into a house. Well, he does that every year. He delivers presents. No, 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 I mean, he broke into a house and he hit somebody with a hammer. Well, that doesn't sound like Santa Claus' behavior. Well, look, I all I know is it's a guy who looks like Santa Claus. Well, why don't you just say that? Well, look, Simmons, just be on the lookout for, like, a sleigh or reindeer or... What? Oh, shit, I, I think that's him. Come on. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle... Oh shit! Am I getting pulled over? Damn it! All right, Simmons, he pulled over. Let's go see if this is our guy. All right. Excuse me, sir. You look like Santa Claus. Well, I am. Yeah, sure you are, buddy. Well, we got a report that somebody who looked like Santa broke into a house and hit a guy with a hammer. Well, I was at this girl's house and I hit her with my hammer. <laughs> oh damn! Up top, Santa. Nice. Yeah, I bet you're hung. Like a stocking. <laughs> oh, good one. Good one. Balls yeah. as big as ornaments. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. She choked on my eggnog. Ew. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think I get it. You had intercourse. Okay. So where are you off to tonight? A, st a strip club. Oh. Okay. You horny old bastard. I think I'm gonna need you to step out of the vehicle. But I'm the real Santa! Well, if you're the real Santa, where's your sleigh and all your reindeer? Well, Rudolph, he's got balls big as shit, and he's getting neutered right now. Too much drag on the sleigh. Okay, I think you're under arrest. Now stay in there! I didn't do anything! I'm innocent! I'm the real Santa! Oh yeah? If you're the real Santa, then what did I ask for for Christmas when I was six years old? A Care Bear? How'd you know that? No, no, don't tell anybody that. That's embarrassing. Okay, you know what? You might be the real Santa, but you still hit someone in the face with a hammer. I didn't do it! Cram it, Kringle. We'll let the judge decide. Ayo, hey, Fickles! <laughs> Who, me? Yeah, bring them jingle balls over here. Huh, it's gonna be a black Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> you better bend over. Santa Claus is getting ready to come down your chimney. What? <laughs> Get you out of here. Get me away from you! Taking you to solitary. Please! What did I do? Guard! 
What do you want, Santa? I'm taking this shit and I don't have any toilet paper! Oh, well it's time for you to go see the judge, so just pull him up and let it crust. Okay, it won't be the first time. I don't have time to wipe when I deliver Christmas presents. I did not need to know that, Santa. Come on. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Pooper, and today we will be hearing the case of Santa Claus, who is being accused of breaking into Marvin's house and hitting him with a hammer. Santa Claus, you are being charged with breaking and entering, assault with a deadly weapon, and giving me a lump of coal when I was 13. How do you plead? Not guilty. Well, I know you're guilty, so Marvin, tell me what happened. So I heard my son Jeffy talking to someone downstairs, so I went to go see what was going on, and he was talking to Santa Claus. And then Santa Claus hit me in the face with a hammer. Damn, looks like Santa's on the naughty list. I didn't do it, that wasn't me. Okay, Santa. Well, if that wasn't you, then what were you doing tonight? What is your alibi? I was driving to the strip club. The what? Speak up. The strip club to get some ho, ho, hoes. The strip club? I have heard enough. You are clearly trying to break into Marvin's house to steal money to throw on strippers, and you got caught, so you hit him with a hammer. Santa Claus, I find you guilty of everything, and I sentence you to six months in prison. Six months? Christmas is in a week and a half! Who's gonna deliver the presents? Well, you should have thought of that before you went on your crime spree. Bailiff, take him away. Come on, get in your cell. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Get in there. You know you don't have to come babysit me. I know what I'm doing. I've robbed the house before. Well, you didn't steal anything from the last house. I was scared. Just open the damn door. Yeah, I fuck. All right, be very quiet. Just hurry up and grab anything valuable. Go trophies! Oh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's touching my trophies. What? I can sense it when someone's touching my trophies. Okay, I think that's all of them. Hey, what the fuck you doing? Give me back my trophies. No, run, Sam. Hey, get back here. Where are you going? Police, help. I gave him a parking ticket for parking too close to the curb. <laughs> I can't believe we just robbed that house. Yeah, we robbed them for everything they got. This totally makes up for me hitting the guy with my hammer earlier. <laughs> Did you say you just robbed that house? Oh shit, is that the cops? Uh, all right, you're coming with me. Oh, nuts! Order, 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 order. So it turns out we arrested the wrong Santa earlier today. This fake Santa is the one who's been going around breaking into people's houses and hitting them with hammers. And it also turns out that his elf accomplice is my evil twin brother does bad things, Pooby. Come on, brother, go easy on me. We're family. Remember when we were kids and you broke mom's vase and blamed it on me? Well, this is payback for that. I sentence both of you to six months in prison and release the real Santa. I told you I didn't want to go back to jail. You nincompoop. Why are you order? Good news, Santa. We found the real fake Santa that did the crime. I didn't do shit. Kringle, is that you, brother? But you guys know each other? Yes, that's my evil twin brother, Kringle. He was always Mother's favorite. Oh, well, you can come out, Santa. Get in there, Kringle. Hey, you you think you could build me up? Ho, 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 ho. No. All right, Brooklyn guy. It's your turn. Ugh, I hate this game. It's so unrealistic. I'm a police officer and it says I make $50,000 a year, but I don't make anywhere near that much in real life. Well, I'm a film star and I make $100,000 a year, but I'm a different kind of film star. Ugh, <laughs> I'm just gonna spin. Oh, you got a nine! Brooklyn guy, you got a nine! Yeah, thank you, Jonathan. I can see that. Wait, Karen, where's your girl piece? It's not in the car. I was just there a second ago. Oh, Karen's in my car. Front seat. What? Jesus, Jonathan, why do you have so many women in your car? That's because it's just like real life, looking guy. Those are all my girlfriends, but don't you worry. I'll take real good care of her. Ugh, Jonathan, just take your stupid turn. Okay. Ooh, a ten! Just like you, Karen. Action space! Action space, everybody! Switch lives with the other player! You heard it here, Brooklyn guy. 
I get you being your wife. What? That's not what the card says. Brooklyn guy, this is what the game says. Say your game. Jonathan, you wouldn't last a day in my life. I have to actually work instead of just staying at home and playing video games all day. I have to work too. I have to take my medicine every day. And I have to rub mom's bunions. And sometimes when I eat hot Cheetos, the dust is all over my fingers. And then it gets on my keyboard. <laughs> Wow, what a terrible life. Hey, would you look at the time? It's 10.30. Karen, we gotta go to bed. I have work in the morning. But I didn't bring my pajamas. Ooh, I'll go commando. Don't worry, he bites. No, you're going home because you can't stay here. Yo, okay. And actually leave this time. Don't just hide in the pantry like before. Ugh, that was only once. Come on, Karen. Ugh, tonight sucked. Boiny, I think it's nice that you invited your brother to game night. I didn't invite him. We found him rummaging through the garbage like a raccoon with a GoPro on his head because he was looking for your used underwear. Boiny, you need to spend more time with your family. I hate my family. Do you want to fool around? No, Karen, I have to be up at 5 a.m. You never want to fool around anymore. <laughs> Good morning, world. Oh, so, Nami, how sore you after last night? I didn't break you, did I? Oh, good morning, boy, day. Karen, what are you doing in my bed? Wait, this isn't my bed? Where are my stains? Boydy, why are you being weird? Why do you keep calling me Boydy? I'm Jonathan! Boydy, you're late for what? Hold on! What is going on? I'm... I'm... Brooklyn guy? But how? We we must have switched bodies from the board game. But if I'm in Brooklyn guy's body, then that means... Karen. Boyny, are you okay? Oh, trust me, I've never been better. So, since we're like married, and you're my wife, can we like, do stuff? But Boyny, aren't you gonna be late for work? Screw work? I'm about to go to work. Boydy, it's been a while. Oh, trust me. It's gonna be a while. Oh, Boydy. Let me close the door. Whoa, Boydy, five times? Yeah, I kept thinking of my mom. Whatever it is, it's working. I'm so glad I'm in Brooklyn guy's body. He's way bigger than me. What? Huh? What's that? That's your phone, Boydy. Oh, Brooklyn guy's phone. I mean... My phone, because I'm Brooklyn guy, and I should answer his phone. My phone. Hello? Guy, where the hell are you? You're six hours late for work. Who's this? It's your boss, the chief of police. Oh, I forgot I'm a police officer. Well, you're not going to be for much longer if you don't get your ass into work. Aye, aye, Captain. Who was that, Boydy? He was my boss. He wants me to come to work. Oh, okay, Boydy. But I don't want to go. I was having so much fun. We can have more fun later, Boydy. <laughs> okay. Daddy's got to go to work. Oh, yes, Daddy. Uh, uh, that's number six. See you later. <sighs> what? Karen, why do you have you use tissues all over me? Ugh. Oh God, why are there so many? And what? Why are they salty? What, K K K Karen? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! What room is this? This isn't my house. What? Karen? Karen? What? What? Hot anime dolls? What? What? What is happening? What? Oh no! Oh no! No 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 no! Ah! No 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 no! I'm Jonathan! No, this can't be happening! No, this is a bad dream. That's what it is. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Damn it! No! Oh God! Okay, okay, I'm not gonna freak out. Okay, okay, well, let's think. What? How did this happen? Uh, okay, we played the game of life, and then I went to bed. Oh no, it was that card! It said we would switch lives! Oh damn it! Okay, 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 keep calm. All I have to do is, is call Karen, and then we'll figure this out. What? Why is Jonathan calling me? Hello, Jonathan. Karen, don't hang up. You say that every time, Jonathan. You know Boyney doesn't like us talking. But no, Karen, it's not Jonathan. It's me, Brooklyn guy. Oh, no, I'm not falling for that one again. A again? What do you mean again? The last time you said you were Boyney, it's because you wanted me to send you a nude. What, what you did? Yes, me and Minnie Mouse he is. What, you didn't tell me this? What the hell? Minnie Mouse is... Okay, look, that's not why I'm calling. Look, me and Jonathan switched bodies. Oh, no, you're not going to get me with that one either. What, he's tried this before? No, J Karen, it's really me. It's Brooklyn. Guy. Bye, Jonathan. No, don't hang up with him. Oh, God, this sucks. Karen doesn't believe me. Oh, and that explains the tissues. Ew. Oh, oh God, they were in my mouth. <laughs> Jonathan, Bobby's here. Uh, Mom, don't come in. Oh, God, clean this 
All right, Jonathan, I got your breakfast right here. I slaved over a hot stove. It's Lay's potato chips and sour cream. I ate a little bit of them on the way in here. And also your Flintstone vitamins so you can grow up and be a big, strong man. But I'm 30 years old, Mom. But you'll always be my baby boy, won't you? Unlike your older brother, Brookie, that piece of shit. Now let's say the I hate Brookie pledge. Raise your hand. What, I... Raise your hand, goddammit! Uh... Now repeat after me. I hate Brookie. I, uh... That good-for-nothing piece of shit doesn't even love his own mother? Wanted to leave my house for some skank and start a family. Whatever. Amen. But you won't leave me, will you, baby boy? You're my precious little baby boy. That piece of shit doesn't even know where he wants to be. He can't even make up his own mind. Brookie's a failure. He's, he's a cop and a doctor. Can't even make up his own damn mind. What a shame. But you know exactly what you want to be. You want to be mommy's baby boy forever. Let me pinch them chicks. Tickle fight, tickle fight, tickle fight. Get, get away from me. What, you don't like your tickle fights no more? No, I'm just, I'm not in the mood today. But you always love your tickle fights. Well, not today. I'm just I'm not in the mood. All right, well, you know what I want you to do? I want you to run down to the market and get me a pack of Marlboro Blacks and a six-pack of Natural Light and also some Bunion Cream and come down and rub me down because I've had a rough day. Okay, I need to get the hell out of here. Oh, okay, you know what? I'm going to call my old phone and see if Jonathan answers. Come on, answer, answer. You're mean now. Just answer my phone. Hello, 911. This is Officer Brooklyn guy. What's your emergency? What, Jonathan, you don't answer your cell phone as a 911 operator. It's your phone. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Who is this? It's your brother. Oh, my younger brother, Jonathan? How are you enjoying your miserable life? Well, I did wake up in a pile of tissues. Oh, well, that's funny. I woke up next to a hot babe. Yeah, well, I woke up next to six dolls. Don't touch them! Especially Nami. Wait, which one is Nami? The redhead. She's a virgin. Yeah, you know, I doubt that. Wait, wait, does that mean the rest of them aren't? Well, what I do with my dolls is no one else's business. Well, I guess it is your business now, since you're me. You see the one with her legs up in the air? Uh, yeah. Freak. Okay, look, Mom just brought you your breakfast of Lay's potato chips and sour cream? Oh, she did? That's my favorite breakfast. That's not breakfast. Your cholesterol must be insane. D well, did she bring the Flintstone vitamins too? Yeah. Well, just take that. It counteracts the cholesterol. I don't think it works like that. But look, I, that's, that's not why I'm calling. I want my body back. Oh, I don't think that's going to happen, Brooklyn guy. You see, I'm better at being you than you. Ask your wife. No, you did not touch her. You know what I really like, Brooklyn guy? The tattoo of your butterfly above her left butt cheek. But how do you know about that? <laughs> well, anyway, I got to get back to work. The police is really riding my butt. You know, I got to support this hot wife. See ya. No, don't you hang up. What? Oh, that is it. I am going to my house. Daddy, are you home early from work? What, Daddy? Jonathan, what are you doing in here? No, Karen, it's not Jonathan. I'm Brooklyn guy. Jonathan, get out of this house. What, no, Karen, please, just listen to me. I know it sounds crazy, but I think me and Jonathan switched bodies. We were playing the game of life last night, and we got that card about switching lives, and I think we did. Jonathan, if you don't get out of this house, I'm going to be forced to call the cops. Uh, don't, don't, don't call the cops. Wait, wait. Yes, call the cops. I need to talk to him. Okay, I warned you. I'm going to call the cops. Hey there, somebody called a cop? Boiny, your brother won't leave. Who let my little wiener brother in here? Jonathan, you know we switched bodies. Oh, what's wrong? You're gonna go in the mirror and cry about how small your wiener is like you do every morning? Or maybe you're tired of peeing your bed every night? Wait, Jonathan, you're just telling on yourself. N n uh Then why are you answering to Jonathan? Sh I'm not. Baby, you want me to get rid of this fool? Yes, Daddy. Uh. And since when did she call uh. me Daddy? She calls me Daddy. Cause I know how to please a woman. Wait, so you and my wife? Oh yeah. Okay, that's it. We're fighting. You can't hit me. I'm a cop. <laughs> ow! Ow! No! Ow! Ow! Uncle! Uncle, we switch bodies. We what? Switch bodies. We played a game last night. Let's do the card and we switch bodies. That means Jonathan and I. <laughs> oh, okay, oh, yeah. that's it. That's it. We are changing back. Oh, I was having fun though. No, we are changing back. I just don't know how to do it. Uh, I know how. No, Jonathan, we're not playing another game. With this card, all I have to do is put it down and then we reverse back into each other's bodies. Uno reverse. Nothing's happening, Jonathan. Switch bodies back. It's not working.
Uh, oh well, you looks like me and Karen have some stuff to do in the bedroom. Let's go, Karen. Karen? Before we switch back, I gotta do something real quick. No, Jonathan. What, what? I'm back in my own body, baby. It's me. No, Jonathan, I'm not falling for it. I'm gonna go back to my husband until you switch bodies back. No, no, no it's really me this time. <clears throat> oh man, now I'm back in my stupid psoriasis covered body. Boydie, I'm gonna be with you forever until you switch back bodies. Uh, uh, yeah, until we switch back bodies, that might take a long time. Karen, no, really, it's me. We switched bodies back. Uh, no, we didn't. What? That's fine, Karen. I just spent half our life savings to buy a courtside ticket to Game 6 to watch the Miami Heat beat the Boston Suck Dicks. Why do you spend half our life savings on basketball tickets? Well, I spent half of my life savings because you just sit on the couch. You don't really do anything. But yeah, I did. Buddy, do you really think it's worth it? <laughs> Is it worth it to go watch the Miami Heat win the Eastern Conference and smell Jimmy's ass as he runs by me? Yeah, I think it is, Karen. Well... Boyney, I guess if it means that much to you, it'll be nice for us to go together. When do we leave? We? Uh, oh, no, no, no. That, that was for one ticket just for me. Boyney, you spent $100,000 on one ticket? Well, yeah, Karen, I can't bring you. I don't want Jimmy to know I'm married, so whenever he wins and he lifts up that trophy, I can show him my jersey that says, Himmy Butler, marry me, and he'll kiss me on the lips. Boyney, that man is not going to marry you. Uh, yeah, he will. And besides, you're already married, Boyney, to me. Well, he's not going to know that, because when we're on the flight over to Denver, I'm going to send you divorce papers. Boyney, Lose. They're not gonna lose, Karen. Nobody has ever blown a 3-0 lead. Oh my god, Boydie, you're just not making any sense! Yeah, well, people don't make sense when they have a heat stroke. So you just stay here and watch the game. But don't be surprised if the TV melts from all the heat! Oh my god, he lost his mind! I can't believe I'm at Game 6 at the Eastern Conference Finals! Oh my god, Jimmy's gonna win and go on to the Finals! Go, Jimmy, go! Jimmy Butler! I love you! Have my baby, Jimmy! Marry me! That's Jimmy Butler right there! I get to see him in the flesh! Jimmy! Jimmy win the game, Jimmy! Go to the finals, Jimmy! Jimmy! I promise! I'll do anything for you, Jimmy! Oh my god, Jimmy! Oh, Jimmy! Oh, Jimmy! Pull your dick out, Jimmy! Pull your dick out, Jimmy! Come on! Come on, pull your dick out! Slap him with it! Oh, there it is! There's his dick! There it is! And slap! That's Jimmy fucking Butler! He just pulled his big dick out! That's Jimmy Buckets! That's Jimmy! That's him! He's gonna win it all! We're gonna win! Jimmy, I love you! I love you, Jimmy! I'll eat your ass! I'm in the mob, Jimmy! Jimmy! Play some D, Jimmy! You got a hot dick, Jimmy! Come on! Play some D! Play some D! Come on, hey! Come on! Come on, Jimmy! Get on, Jimmy! Get on, Jimmy! Block it! Hell no! Hell no! Hell no! Pass it to Jimmy! Just pass it to Jimmy! Why would you not give it to Jimmy? What was that? What was that? What was that? That was a foul! He should have passed it to Jimmy Butler! Oh, here he comes! Come on, Jimmy! Come on, Jimmy! Come on! To the three! Oh! Jimmy Bucket! Jimmy! Oh my god, it's a two-point game! With only 16 seconds left! Come on, guys! You can do this! For the lead! For the win! Come on, Jimmy! Come on, Jimmy! Come on, Jimmy! Please do it, Jimmy! That's three shots! Three shots! Three shots! That's three shots! It is determined that he gets to take three shots! Ah! Jimmy! Jimmy Butler! Jimmy! Jimmy, you got three shots! Jimmy, listen! Jimmy! If you make these three shots, you go to the NBA Finals! I believe in you, Jimmy! I love you so goddamn much! Shh! 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 Everybody shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Everybody shut up! Please shut the fuck up! Jimmy's about to shoot. He needs quiet. Quiet for Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. I love you. I know you got this. Big you, Jimmy. Just make it. Jimmy! Jimmy Buckets! Jimmy Buckets! Yeah, everybody shut up! He's trying to focus. Everybody's screaming. Jimmy Butler, you're the best! You hear me? Jimmy! Make it! 
Make it! Please make it! Oh, Jimmy! Jimmy! Only two more! Jimmy! Oh my god, he made it! Jimmy! 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 Fuck it! Oh my god! Oh my god! Everybody shut the fuck up! Everybody shut the fuck up! Tyler, shut the fuck up! Hey kid, put your shirt back on! Just one more shot! Tyler, shut up! Jimmy, I know you got this! I believe. I love you, Jimmy Butler. Move, ref. I can't see. Ah! That's right. Take my fucking picture. I was here, bitch. I just went to Jimmy Butler win it because he's the goddamn goal. I can't believe it. We're winning by one. Stop celebrating. There's three seconds left. We can still lose. Calm down. <laughs> Look at Derek White. More like Derek wiped my ass. What's he even doing here? Get out of here, loser. Doesn't even know how to play basketball. We won! Yeah! What? 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 Wait. Wait. What happened? Did he make it? What? How? 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 Wait. No fucking way! I can't believe it. They lost. They lost! Fuck! Fuck! This is the worst day of my fucking life! I came here just to lose. I want to die. I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> How was it, Boiny? Shitty. I know, Boiny, because I watched it, and I watched you lose us $100,000! Oh, look, Karen, don't you think I feel bad enough? I just went all the way over to Miami just to watch them lose with 0.2 seconds left to the Boston Suck Dicks. You're right, Boiny. I'm sorry I yelled. Well, if you're mad now, it's only gonna get worse, because I just bet the rest of our life savings that Miami's gonna win Game 7. Boiny, you just bet the rest of our money on a team that just lost? Hey, look, Karen, no team has ever blown a 3-0 lead, okay? And Jimmy's not gonna go out like a bitch. He's a warrior! But they just lost, Boiny! That was a fluke, Karen. They put extra seconds on the board. I saw it with my own two eyes. Boiny, if they lose, though, we'll lose everything. We'll lose the house, we'll lose our money, and I'll never speak to you again! Well, that sounds like a win-win to me. I mean, I lose my faith in Jimmy, but I also lose you, and I can start a new life. And hey, if I win, I get $300,000. Oh, that is a lot of money. Yeah, and I can use that money to buy an engagement ring so Jimmy will marry me. Boiny, I don't I think you thought this through. Oh, I've thought the whole thing through, Karen. The wedding, the honeymoon. We're gonna have a honeymoon in Cancun, and then we're gonna settle down and have a nice little family of Asian kids, because we're gonna adopt. But don't worry, there will be a lot of sex. Okay, that's very nice, Boiny, but why didn't you save that money so that you could go to game seven? Well, I'm bad luck, apparently, because Jimmy was i fucking the shit out of me the whole game. I, I kept saying, Jimmy, Jimmy, the game's over there. And then he blew me a kiss, and I caught it. A little bit of tongue. But that's why I don't want to go to game seven, because I don't want to distract him. He needs to be focused. Okay, Boiny, when's the next game? It's in a couple days. Now, I'm going to go meditate in the closet and pray to Himmy. Just don't bother me. Himmy. Himmy. Boiny. Himmy. Boiny, the game's about to start. It's been two days. Fuck yeah. It's time. All right, Karen, I'm ready. Hey, could you turn the heater on? I want it nice and hot in here for the heat. Boiny, what's with the hot dog? Well, Jimmy has never lost a game while I was sitting on this couch eating a 12-inch hot dog while meat riding him. People say I meat ride Jimmy Butler, and they're right. I do tricks on that thing. This right here, that's Jimmy's wiener. Actually, I bet it's even bigger than this. Wow, that is something. Boiny, that's gross. Have you seen the remote, Karen? I don't want to miss the game. Well, Boiny, uh, why don't you look at the TV? What, what are these highlights from the last game? Wait, 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 did they already win? Yeah, Boiny, they won! Aren't you excited? You want all that money? But I wanted to see Jimmy go crazy. But Boiny, they won! Aren't you happy? Well, yeah, but why didn't you come get me? Because I was gonna leave you in that closet forever, Boiny, if they lost. But they won! Yeah, yeah, they did win! Jimmy actually did it! Go, Jimmy! <laughs> you think he won because I was in the closet meditating? Uh, oh yeah, Boiny, definitely! So, so I should be in the closet for every game? Yes, Boiny, and save us all that money! Oh, I'm gonna do that from now on. Screw this hot dog, it's nugget time. This is what Jimmy Butler's gonna do to the Denver Nuggets. He's gonna rub them on his balls, then he's gonna eat them. <laughs> the Nuggets suck. 
Actually, they're pretty good. Actually, they're very good. I'll be surprised if we win one single game. You don't think we're gonna win, Boiny? No, no I don't. Well, I hope we win. Oh, I do too. If we win the finals, I'm gonna get 22 tattooed on my back, and then I'm gonna get property of Jimmy Butler tattooed on my butt, and then I'm gonna have him do a hand turkey in my left ass cheek like a kindergartner. Now I hope they lose. Lose? Jimmy doesn't know the meaning of the word lose. He almost blew a 3-0 lead, Boiny. But did he? No, he didn't. So shut up. I don't want to hear that ever again, okay? Get out of here with that weak shit. They're not going to lose. But I'm going to be in the closet for the next few days until the finals start. And I'm going to take these nuggets with me because I haven't eaten in two days. So I'll be in the closet eating nuggets. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just one more thing. One more thing real quick. Go eat! gonna sit back and have a nice relaxing Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, honey! Are we gonna have a nice turkey dinner this year? No, we're gonna order some Chinese food and then we're just gonna sit here and watch the Cowboys lose. But Boiny, I wanna have a nice family dinner! Well then divorce me and marry a guy with a family because I don't have one. But Boiny, I'm your family. <gasps> Boiny, your mom's calling! No, 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 don't answer it. I don't have a mother. Hello? Yeah, hello! Is Brookie there? No, no, I'm not here. I'm not here. Yes, he's here! Well, then why didn't he answer the phone? He don't want to talk to his own mother? Oh, he's just very busy! Mm-hmm, sure he is. I bet he's sitting on the couch, not wearing pants, drinking a beer. Well, she's not wrong. He loves you very much! Okay, well, if he loves me so much, why don't you guys join us for Thanksgiving dinner? <gasps> Wonderful! Then I'll see you kids in a little bit! Okay, we'll see you real soon! Karen, why would you tell her that? I don't want to go over there! Because, Boiny, we're gonna have a nice Thanksgiving family meal with your mother! So go get dressed in a nice button-up shirt! I don't have a button-up shirt. The only button-up shirt I have is my cop uniform! Oh, <gasps> Boiny, wear your cop uniform! You look so sexy as a cop! Yeah, that's what I want. To look sexy for my mom. What? Wait, yes, that's a good idea, because if I wear my cop uniform, then when I get there, I can just say that I had an emergency call and I have to leave. You're a genius, Karen! Mm. Boydie, I'm so excited to have Thanksgiving dinner with your family! Hold on, Karen, here's the plan. We're going in for 30 seconds, and then I'm going to get an emergency phone call from my boss, and then we're leaving. Stop it, Boydie, we're not doing that! Oh, yes, we are. Jonathan, answer the damn door! Okay, okay, jeez, Mom, I'm going! Oh, hey, this guy! You actually made it! Shocking, I know. Oh, and hey, Karen. If you ever want to leave Brickson guy for a real man, daddy's here. Hi, Jonathan! One day he's gonna be screaming my name. Just let us in, Jonathan. Yeah, uh, 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 what's your password? Let us in, or I'm leaving. <gasps> How'd you know, come on in? It's been the same password since we were little. <laughs> <sighs> oh, mother, look who's here. It's your least favorite son and this... Foxy lady. Oh, well, would you look at that? The star of the show finally decided to show up. Where you been, Brookie? You haven't seen your mother in ten years. I've been working, Ma. Yeah, doing what? Playing cops and robbers? Get a real job. I have a lot of jobs, Ma. Yeah, take off that stupid hat at my dinner table. <sighs> okay, it's part of the uniform, but fine. Wh wh what's this? Oh, no. I'm getting a call, and it's from the police chief. But what's that, Chief? Oh no, a shooting? And, and how many dead? Oh, I'm sorry, Mom. I'm gonna have to go. I know you're not using no damn phone at my dinner table. Hey, this is Brookie's mother. Yeah, he just quit. Look at that. Problem solved. So why don't you go get out of that disgusting uniform and get ready for dinner? I don't have any other clothes. Oh, don't worry. I always keep a spare. <sighs> Jesus, this shirt is huge. Big shirt, computer repair shirt. We're not doing that anymore, Jonathan. Mom, Brookie guy said he doesn't want to be a part of my business anymore. Brookie, play along with your brother while you're here. You hear that, Brookie guy? That means I'm your boss. And first order of business? Tickle five. Tickle Yo, stop. Hey, hey, Jonathan, tone it down. Mommy's got a headache and I'm trying to get rid of it. Sorry, Mommy. We'll continue this later at bedtime. I'm not staying the night. Hey, Jonathan, where the hell's the toilet? Mommy's hungry. Uh, so, uh, one second, Mom. Can I see you in the kitchen, please? Wait, why? Just come on. Okay. 
<laughs> he's here, he's here. What is it, Jonathan? Well, there's a teensy weensy problem with the Thanksgiving turkey. What could possibly be wrong with the turkey? Well, I couldn't find the turkey, so I got a chicken instead. That's fine, we can eat chicken. Okay, perfect. What, what, you got a live chicken? Why the hell would you get a live chicken? Well, where was I supposed to find a live turkey on the day of Thanksgiving? You're not. You're supposed to find a dead one. Oh, that, there was a ton of dead ones. Well, then why didn't you buy one? Well, because Red Lobster has live lobsters. I, I don't care about Red Lobster. They have really good cab crates. I, I, I don't give a shit. We have to kill this chicken. We can't kill Club Norris. Cluck Norris? You named him? Yeah, he came up with the name on the way home. Well, I don't care. We have to kill Cluck Norris. You can't kill Cluck Norris. You want to bet? Don't Look, we're gonna have to kill this chicken because I don't want mom to yell at us again. Well, I bet you can't kill him. He's a ninth degree black belt. I bet I can. I got a lot of rage. Come on, Cluck Norris. <laughs> Hold him still, Jonathan. Where are you gonna do, Burking Guy? I'm uh, I'm gonna give him a haircut. Okay, well, watch out for his neck. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> you can't got you me. I wasn't aiming for his hair. What? Oh, Jesus Christ, the body's running away. Why would you do that, Cluck Norris? Yeah. Back here, stupid chicken body! Yeah. Ah, I got him! Uh, Shut up, Jonathan! You murdered my best friend! Yeah. What the hell's going on in there? Nothing, Ma! No! Get up, Norris! Jonathan, get the hell out of the oven! No, I'm gonna die with him! Jonathan, <laughs> if you stop crying, I'll play World of Warcraft with you or whatever! I don't play World of Warcraft, I play EverQuest! Uh, okay. Or we could play Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, fine, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh, okay. Oh, it's screw this chicken, come on. Uh, we're back. Where's the turkey? It's in the oven, Ma! But Booker Guy, it's a chicken, not a turkey. She doesn't need to know that. But if we lie, we're gonna get spanking. She's not gonna spank me, I'm a grown man. I kinda like the spankings. I lie on purpose. Get away from me! And who the hell could that be? Hey, Brookie, go answer the door! It's not my house. Hey, don't talk back to me! Go answer the door, I'm gonna hit you with this beer bottle! Fine. Oh, I'm going to! Hello? Hey, I got a call about a noise complaint. With Simmons? Oh, hey, mate, what are you doing here? This is my mom's house. What are you doing here? Oh, I just got a call about a noise complaint. Hi, Officer Simmons! Hey, buddy, how you doing? Good. I haven't seen you since last Friday. What? Yeah, Officer Simmons comes over every Friday, and when he does, Mom makes me go in my room and put my headphones in. But I never do! I put my ear to the door, and I hear Officer Simmons say, Okay, that's a stinky beaver, mate! And again, I hear him say, Oh, it's your yours! And again, silence! Jonathan, can you give me and Simmons a minute alone, please? But I want to stay out here with Officer Simmons! Jonathan, go! <laughs> Name? Simmons, do you have a thing with my mom? I'm sorry, mate. I didn't know he was your mother, but she's a freak. Ew! Simmons, that's so gross! And that's the same shirt I wear when I'm doing it, too. Ew! And it's my lucky one. I never wash it. Ew, 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 ew! Simmons, just get out of here! I know that voice anywhere. Is that my sexy officer, Simmons? Sure is, baby. Well, I think I need to be strip searched. Right away, ma'am. No, Simmons. Well, I gotta do my duty. No. Protect and serve. No, 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 no. <clears throat> There's my big papa bear. Mama needs some porridge. Well, this porridge is just right, ma'am. I'm gonna yeah. throw up. Isn't it romantic? Sorry, I have to go to the bathroom. Which bathroom? Why? Because I have cameras set up in certain bathrooms. Let me go check. That's illegal, Jonathan. I missed you, honey. Oh my god! She went to the right bathroom? It's so hot. Mm, I'm gonna go check the turkey. Oh, perfect. That gives me time to steal your woman. Please do! Uh, god, please kill me. Uh, let's check this turkey. Little burn? But who gives a shit? <laughs> Hey, sexy, you come here often? Oh, Jonathan, you're so silly! Shh, shh, shh. Don't call me Jonathan. Call me Daddy. Boy, and he talks about you all the time. Yeah, of course he does. That's because he's jealous of me. One time, I walked in on him in the shower. Let's just say my wiener's bigger. Yeah. <sighs> okay, here's the turkey. Brooklyn and Guy, get out of here! Me and Karen were just about to kiss. She's such a tease. <sighs> Karen, can I talk to you for a second? Okay, boy, Ooh, I'll come too. No, Jonathan, go get mom out of the bedroom. Ugh, fine. What's wrong, boy, Dave? What's wrong? Are you kidding me? Have you seen any of this? Every family has drama, boy, Dave. 
drama. We don't just have drama, Karen. That's a severed chicken head. I had to kill Clock Norris. Pointy, you're just so stressed out. Yeah, of course I'm stressed out. My partner is in the bedroom with my mom right now, and my little brother recorded you in the bathroom. What? Yeah, I know. It's not exactly the dream Thanksgiving you had in mind, is it, Karen? Pointy, I just want to have a nice family dinner for once. Okay, okay, fine. You know what? We came this far. We might as well just stay and eat dinner. But after that, we're getting out of here. This place is literally hell. Okay, Boydie. I'll be here shimmy. Masha, dinner's ready. All right. Now that Mama's got a belly full of porridge, I want some stuffing. Masha, you already ate? Uh, can we please just eat our food now? Good idea. Hey, no touching the food until we say grace. Now, who wants to say it? Ooh, ooh, me, 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 my, my, right here, right here. Brookie, how about you say it? <sighs> me and God are not on good terms right now because I don't think there is a God if my life is like this. All right, screw it, I'll say it. Everyone bow your heads. Dear gods, I want to tell you everything I'm thankful for us. First of all, is the best son a mother could ask for, my baby boy, Jonathan. That's me. The next thing I'm thankful for is the most well-endowed man I've ever wrapped my lips around. Jesus. My big boy Simmons, yeah! But let me tell you what I'm not thankful for. Here it goes. My good-for-nothing deadbeat son, Brookie. We ain't been here for 10 goddamn years. Where you been, Brookie? I could've died, huh? Huh? You bitch! Was that a roll? Yeah, shut your mouth while I'm talking to God. Amen. Now let's eat. Okay, I'll pass out the chick, the, the, the tur- The chicken, it's chicken. Man, oh man, does this look scrumptious. <gasps> Simmons, I didn't know you cut it off and put it on the plate. Uh, Ma, can we please stop talking about that at the dinner table? This is my damn house, and I'll talk however I want to at my own dinner table. Oh man, look at that. That's a lot of meat for someone with a lot of meat. Eat up, big boy. You're gonna need the energy. I'm just gonna hurry up and eat so I can leave. Yeah, broken guy, where is your bib? I don't need a bib because I'm not five years old. Jesus, Jonathan, did you get enough potatoes? Mother says you're gonna help me grow big and healthy and strong. You're 32 years old. How much bigger are you gonna get? That's your wife. Ugh. I told her the shower story. Oh, so you told her the story of how you walked in on me in the shower and then cried for three weeks because you realized you weren't the only person in the world that had a wiener? Yeah. I didn't tell her that part. Yeah, I didn't think so. Just shut up and eat your food, John. Oh, fine, boy. Still. Stupid. Stupid man. Your tail is so chunky. Good morning. Oh my god, Blaney! Oh, Jesus Christ, somebody help him. <coughs> Thanks, Mom. Blaney! Not him, Jonathan. Somebody help him cut his mashed potatoes. I don't want him to choke. <coughs> Are you kidding me? I almost died. Hey, yo, is anyone going to help me cut these mashed potatoes? They are so chunky. All right, that is it. We are leaving. Oh, good thinking, Brookie. And while you're out, can you give me some more beer? I just ran out. Oh, and also give me an ice pack, because I'm going to be sore after Simmons is done. Isn't that right, big boy? Mm-hmm. Go, go, go. Come on, baby. Don't look back. We're leaving. Boyny, I'm so sorry. I made you go over there. Yeah, well, maybe you'll listen to me next time. Here, take this shirt, burn it, sweep up the ashes, burn the ashes, and then bury it. Who could possibly be calling me? Hello? Hey, broken guy. Officer Simmons is looking for his special shirt. Could you bring it back, please? No! <sighs> Boyny, do you want me to order Chinese food? Yes, please. What do you want to eat for dinner tonight? I was thinking we could make a big old pot of green beans. Ugh. We open like eight cans of green beans and pour it in a pot and put a little bit of salt and pepper, but mostly green beans. Marvin, no one likes green beans. But they're healthy for you. And Jeffy needs to eat healthy if he wants to live long. Why don't we ask Jeffy what he wants to eat? Because he's going to want like pizza or ice cream or something. Ooh, pizza and ice cream sound good. But that's unhealthy, baby. He needs to eat healthy. But I guess we can ask him. Jeffy, get in here. Um, what do you want, Danny? I was, I was about to do something. What do you want for dinner tonight? Oh, I want a big old bucket of cheese balls. But you're not gonna eat cheese balls for dinner, Jeffy. Why? I like cheese balls. They're just balls with cheese on them. Yeah, that's what I get if I don't shower for three days. That's gross, Jeffy. Look, you're not eating cheese balls. You need to eat green beans. I hate green beans, Daddy, and you know this. I want cheese balls. Well, you're not eating cheese balls. You take your hand off that lid. You do not take that lid off. You put that lid back on. 
You do not grab, do you, you, put, you, put that, you put that cheese ball back. You put that cheese ball back. You don't, don't you put that cheese ball in your mouth. I told you like, ah, no, no, I hate gravy. You, you need gravy. Gravy is not healthy. Cheese balls aren't healthy. <laughs> you, you feel better? That make you feel better? <laughs> Daddy, I think I lost my voice. You lost your voice? Like, good. I, I don't have to hear your voice anymore. No, Daddy, it really hurts. <laughs> well, I don't care. Margaret, we need to call a doctor. What if he hurt his throat box? He did not hurt his throat box. Daddy, voice hurts. box? Throat, yeah, that. Throat box? Okay, okay it's called a voice box. Maybe not we throat box. We need to call a doctor. Okay, fine, we'll call a doctor. It really hurts. Hey there, someone call a doctor? What What is going on here? I don't know what's going on with that, but my son Jeffy, he lost his voice. He went, uh, too hard. Wait, he did what? He went, uh, too hard. He went, uh, what is, uh? I, I don't know, it's, it's a sound he makes, but he went, uh, too hard. Well, was he trying to poop? Trying to poop? Well, sometimes when I'm constipated and I try to poop, I go, uh, to like push it out, you know? I, I don't think he's trying to poop. Is that what you're trying to do? Uh. He's trying, apparently that's what he's trying to do. Okay, so he lost his voice doing that? Yeah, he, he can't talk. I try to talk, Jeffy. I can't talk. See, he's making that noise when he tries to talk. Hmm, okay. Let me get in there and take a look. All right, kid, open your mouth. Uh -uh. What, 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 does he not want me to help him? Or? Jeffy, open your mouth. Uh -uh. Don't do this. Uh -uh. Just open your mouth. Uh -uh. I can't really see in there. Could you open your mouth wider? Uh -uh. Oh, wow. Okay, he can dislocate his jaw like a snake. That's cool. Uh, wait, wait a minute. He doesn't have a throat, but this is a puppet. A puppet? Yeah, he's just a puppet. So I don't think he lost his voice. I think the guy playing the puppet lost his voice. Wait, so Lance lost his voice? Yeah. Hold on. <clears throat> All right, Lance, what's wrong with your voice? Why does it sound like that? I lost it when I did the really big uh, noise. Well, go get a cough drop or drink some water. We got to finish the video. I don't think we can finish the video. We're going to have to cancel filming. Cancel filming? Uh, We've never done that ever. We can't do that. The fans will get mad if we cancel filming. Logan, I'll voice Jeffy. Elena, you can't voice Jeffy. You only play like one character. Hey, I play Brooklyn Guy's wife too. Oh, God, I hate you. Okay, let me hear your Jeffy voice. <laughs> What doing? Oh god, that's awful. Uh, I don't hey, even know. Hey, hey Pooby, uh, just put Brooklyn Guy down and you try to voice Jeffy. Okay, I'll try. Alright, so what do you want me to do? I want to hear your Jeffy voice. You might be able to play Jeffy. Oh god, okay. Um, What doing? Uh, uh, want to see my pencil? That's perfect. What? Alright, Lance, uh, Pooby's going to play Jeffy. You're just going to replace me like that? Oh, you know how he gets whenever I try to play his characters. He gets all jealous. <laughs> Oh, Lance, don't cry! Jeez, this is what I'm talking about. Oh, let's go Let's go talk to him. Ugh. Ugh. Stupid lake. Lance, why are you throwing rocks at the lake? I'm finished. My voice is gone from playing Jeffy. It's never coming back. Oh my god, he's such a drama queen. I can go to the store for tea and honey for your voice. That doesn't work. None of your spiritual stuff works. All right, Lance, look, you've lost your voice playing Jeffy before. It'll, it'll come back. Not like this. This time I'm done. I think I'm going to retire. What? Retire? Oh my god, does this mean I can finally play his characters? Logan, is he serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Look, I can do a mean Mr. Goodman. Check it out. Breaking news, okay? Oh, that's oh, perfect. Wow. I like yeah. that. Oh, let's, let's, go, let's go film. Yeah. So I really get to play Jeffy? Yeah, your voice sounds just like Jeffy. The fans won't tell the difference. Awesome. I've always wanted to play him. All right, so this is what's going to happen in the scene. So you're going to play Jeffy, and you're going to go, oh, I got my voice back. Oh. And then Brooklyn Guy, ooh, ooh, can you play Brooklyn Guy and Jeffy at the same time? <laughs> can I play Brooklyn Guy and Jeffy at the same time? Of course I can. Can. I'm Pooby! You see how long these arms are for some reason? I can do anything! Like Dr. Octopus over here! Except I only have the two arms, and they're not made of metal. And I'm not Alfred Molina. I'm Pooby, so I don't really know why I said all that. Well, look, look just grab Jeffy, grab Booking Guy, let's get this scene. Okay? Go. Hey, Daddy, my voice came back! Whoa, his voice came back! His voice is back! It's a miracle? We're so glad your voice is back, Jeffy. Well, I guess I did my job. So, Jeffy, you learned not to scream like that ever again. It could hurt your voice. I sure did, Daddy. Uh, uh. All right, guys, let's go eat some green beans. I hate green beans, Dagnabbit. Oh, you... Pooby, you have to watch this scene. It was so good. Oh, I don't have to watch it. I know it was good. Everything I do is gold. Your Jeffy voice is just so perfect. I know, I know. And hey, I'm not going to lie. I've been practicing for this moment. And just between you and me, I think my Jeffy voice is better than Lance's. It is better than Lance's. Why does Jeffy sound country? What are you talking about? Yeah, I don't get it. It doesn't sound good. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't sound good. How can it not sound good? I'm Pooby. I can imitate any character. Name a character. Jar Jar Binks, off the dome. Got it. Misa Jar Jar Binks. Killed it. Logan, his voice for Jeffy is terrible. Jar Jar being spot on, but Jeffy is bad. Can you do her voices too so we can fire her? Oh, I mean, I could try. He can't do my voices. I'm a girl. <laughs> Move aside, chump. Check this out. I'm going to do Marvin's wife or girlfriend or whatever she is now. Oh, Marvin, we should let Jeffy do things. Eh? Okay, well, you can't do Broken Guy's wife. That's even easier. Boy, 
Poopy. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, you're fired. <laughs> you're, you're so good, Poopy. Oh, okay, uh, can you do uh, Chef Poopy's voice? Oh, yeah. Junior! Okay, I'm firing Lavelle. It's just gonna be me and you, buddy. Me and you against the world. We're, we're gonna do all these videos. All right, let's get the next scene. Uh, uh, hold on, Logan. You know what else I can do? What? what? No, you can't do that. Oh, yeah, I can do it. Well, you, you can't do that. Yep, I can hold the camera, too. Oh, well, uh, you can't play Marvin. Oh, Jeffy, oh, stop it! No! You can't do this! You can't take everyone's characters! Oh, I can. And I did. Now get out of here. <laughs> now I'm gonna change the name of the channel to Super Pooby Pooby! It's gonna be SPP now! <laughs> hey, Elena. Don't talk to me, Logan! I don't want my job back, even if you beg me! Well, look. Pooby just fired me. Pooby fired you? Yeah, it turns out he can hold the camera and play my characters. Ha! Well, this is serious! He's gonna take over the channel! I don't think that he can play all our characters, and film it all, and edit it all! Yeah, I guess you're right. I don't think Poopy could do that either. Hey, losers! Check this out! Oh, I'm Marvin! Jeffy, stop it! And I'm filming it! Your careers are over, chumps! God, I never thought Poopy was such a jerk! I know, he really is! But what are we gonna do? We can't let him take over the channels! Oh, we should call the cops! He plays the cops! Oh, you're right! He does! Oh, ooh, we can, uh, we can call Lance! Lance plays a cop! Oh, his voice is gone. What are we gonna do? Logan, it's your house. We can just walk in. Uh, you're right! Let's just walk in and let's take the channel back! Okay. Okay, where do you think he's at? And go! <laughs> Daniel, my green beans! Jimmy, stop it! Man, I am killing it today. I think he's upstairs. Okay, let's go upstairs and try to ruin his filming. Alright, next scene. And go! I don't want to eat green beans, Daddy! Oh, Jeffy, you gotta eat your green beans! Oh, Marvin, let him do what he wants to do! Oh my god, I'm controlling three characters at the same time! I even have one on my foot! I am a god! Hey, Pooby. Uh, what do you want, loser? Hold on, let me put my puppets down. Alright, what do you want? And make it quick, because I gotta finish filming this video, I have to edit it and upload it tonight. Well, me and Elena were talking, and we decided that you can't do this! <laughs> Are you sure? Because it looks like I'm already doing it. Well, you might be doing it, but the fans aren't gonna like it. They're gonna hate that you're playing every character. Are you completely sure about that? I'm 100% sure about that. Huh, okay. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna finish this video, and then I'm gonna upload it. And if the fans hate it, then we'll just go back to the way things were. But, if the fans love this video, then you and Elena have to quit forever! <laughs> That's a deal. What? I didn't agree to this! Look, the fans are gonna hate it. It sucks. Let's make the deal. Alright, it's a deal. Alright, the shake on it. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna go edit. I, I don't know how to do that, but I'm gonna figure it out! Alright, I uploaded the video, and it already has 10 million views and 10 million likes. 10 million views and 10 million likes?! None of our videos ever got that many likes! How is that even possible? Cause my shit don't stink, brah! All I make is hits! Well, let me see this video! Okay, but get ready for your eyes to melt from all the awesomeness! Hey, Jeffy, how was school today? Oh, it was great, Daddy! I got an F on my report card! Ooh, boy, you got an F! Oh, you're gonna get it now! You're grounded! Oh, Marvin, an F just means that he's doing fantastic! Exactly, Daddy! Uh, uh. Oh, cut? All right, that was great. It was perfect. Oh, I'm on fire! Huh? So, what do you think? That wasn't even good. It was only 23 seconds long. No, 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 no. The comments say otherwise. Let's take a look here. Okay, Dylan says, Best video I've ever seen. I think Pooby should play everyone from now on. Well, guess what, Dylan? I am. That's exactly what I'm doing. And Cindy says, I honestly want a whole series of this. Well, congratulations, Cindy, because I'm running the whole channel now. Louis says, absolutely perfect in every way. Sorry, Logan, but I can't go back to your videos now that I've seen what Pooby can do. Hope you understand. Well, those are just a few comments. Oh, yeah? Well, Optic says Pooby's an amazing director. Oh, and look, this was totally worth watching. This is a masterpiece. This is such a masterpiece. This is beautiful. What an amazing performance by Pooby. Oh, thanks, Owen. Oh, oh, look at this. We need more videos like this. The acting is spot on. I'm shacking and crying right now. 10, 10, life changing. I changed that kid's life. And look, another 10 out of 10. Perfect video. Truly a cinematic masterpiece. Quite possibly the best piece of media I've ever seen from Super Pooby Poobs. Oh, okay, I get it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You ain't got shit on Pooby, so get stepping. A deal's a deal. Just like that? We have to go as a deal. Ha! <laughs> well, Elena, I guess this is the end of our channel since Pooby's better than us. I guess I'll move back to Maryland. I mean, you always move back there. <laughs> wait, wait, where's that noise coming from? It's coming from that closet! Let's see what's inside. <laughs> what? Pooby? Are you okay? Mm -mm. Wait, wait, wait. If Pooby's right here, then who's that upstairs? I don't know! Wait, let's take the tape off his mouth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ow! 
Wait, 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 what happened? Some maniac who looks just like me tied me up and threw me in here. Wait, let's go see who that is. Wait, you're not gonna untie me first? <sighs> You did good, Lance. You did good. You made the entire crew think Pooby's an asshole. Ah, that'll teach them for playing my characters. Ooh. Oh my god! Lance! Oh, rats! Well, I don't, I don't understand. Why do you have a Pooby costume? Because I didn't want Pooby playing my characters! Wait, what are you talking about? Well, you remember when we were down by the lake after I lost my voice? You, you guys were walking back to the house, so I grabbed Pooby and I tied him up and I threw him in the closet because I didn't want to play in my characters. Then I went to the store and I got honey and tea, and that fixed my voice! I knew it! <sighs> Yeah, and then I was like, you know what? I don't want Logan and Elena hanging out with Pooby anymore. So I dressed up like Pooby, and then I was mean to you guys to make you guys hate Pooby. Well, then how'd you get the video with the 10 million views? Oh, I just photoshopped it. Hey, guys. Remember me? The one you left tied up in a closet? Oh, hey, Lance. Dick. Sorry, Pooby. No, no sorry, Pooby. This is a crime. Guys, let's all just calm down, okay? We have to finish Jeffy Loses His Voice. So, Lance, play Jeffy. What? Are you kidding me? We're not going to do this now. Come on, open! Jeffy, what are you doing? I'm trying to open my oatmeal cream pie! Well, let me open it. Uh, don't, don't hit me with oh, it! Oh, look, Daddy, you got it open for me. Thanks. Marvin, I took another pregnancy test, and it says not pregnant. Again? Wait a minute, Daddy! You're Porky? Porky Pig? Well, uh, 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 yes, Jeffy, we're just trying to have a kid of our own. But, but, but what about me, Jeffy, the Jeff man? Well, Jeffy, I want to experience motherhood. You know, pregnancy, childbirth, breastfeeding. Breastfeeding? If you want to breastfeed somebody, I'm right here, and you got two of them so me and daddy can tag team. What, Jeffy? No, listen, we just want to have a, a real kid. I'm a real boy. Well, Jeffy, don't do your stupid Pinocchio impression. Wait a minute, daddy. So you're telling me while I'm eating oatmeal cream pies, y'all are in the bedroom making your own? Yeah. You're telling me while I'm asleep in my bed, y'all are in your bed doing something nasty? Uh, yeah. Well, listen, Jeffy, there's nothing wrong with it. Marvin, this is the third one month in a row that it says not pregnant. Maybe you should go to the doctor and get your fertility tested. You're right. I should go to a doctor and get tested. Can I come? No, Jeffy. We don't have to test you. I mean, can I go with you? Yeah, you can go with me. Come on. All right. Hey there, welcome to the doctor's office. How can I help you? Well, doctor, for the last three months I've been trying to get my wife pregnant, but it's just not working. Oh, you're shooting blanks, huh? I think so. I think we can help with that. Hey, doctor, I got a problem. What's that? Every morning at precisely 8 a.m. I take a dump. Why is that a problem? I don't wake up till 9. Oh, well, okay, I guess I recommend setting an alarm for 7.59 then. I'll just sleep in it. Okay. So, doctor, how do we fix my problem? Well, if we want to check and see if your tadpoles are alive and swimming, I need you to take this cup, go into the bathroom, and, uh... Choke the monkey or spank the chicken, whatever the kids are saying these days, just quick, right in the cup. So I'm supposed to go in there and do it by myself? Well, I'm not going to do it for you. I mean, I can ask the nurses if they want to help, but I'm pretty sure they're all married. One of them might be in debt, though. No, I'll just do it myself. i just never done it with a cup before. You do know you're not supposed to bang the Tupperware, right? I, as long as it ends up in the cup, that's all that matters. Oh, uh, okay. So I'm just supposed to go in the bathroom and just do it off imagination? Well, yeah, I mean, I got a laptop set up in there. It's got a couple tabs open already. I highly recommend 3 minutes and 59 seconds on the first tab. Oh, tell me that's not the hottest shit you've ever seen. Oh, and in the third tab, tell me how she fits eight basketballs in her rump. I'm a doctor and I couldn't even figure that out. Okay, it's just, this is really weird. I've never done something like this before, have you? Oh yeah, I do it all the time. I've donated three times today. You've donated? Oh yeah, every time I'm stressed out, I just go in there and make a donation. I don't know how many kids I got running around out there. Okay, I'll go do it by myself. I don't like how you keep saying by myself like you thought we offered some kind of service. I'm starting to question why you even came here. I'm gonna go do it. Okay, I did it. You didn't put the lid on it? I'm not good at screwing the lid on. Well, you can't get your wife pregnant, so you're not good at screwing anything. Hey! Wait, wait a minute. Why is it all bluish green like this? Isn't that what it's supposed to look like? No! Hold on. Wait, is it? Ew, don't do that! That is Mountain Dew Baja Blast. It is? Yes, you splooge Mountain Dew Baja Blast. No wonder you can't get your wife pregnant. Your balls are full of Baja Blast. How often do you drink it? Uh, like three to four times a day. Sweet Jesus, of course you can't get her pregnant. And that's probably why you don't have any teeth. They all rot it off. I did sample two for fun. What, his is also Baja Blast? Well, all we drink at my house is Baja Blast because we stay up late and Taco Bell's the only thing open. How are you alive? Well, what are we supposed to drink? Water. Well, water doesn't taste like Baja Blast. Well, you're going to die in five months if you 
keep this up. So you're telling me I can never have a kid? Well, look, the only way I can think of, in my professional medical opinion, that your wife could get pregnant is if I hid in your closet and you went into the bedroom with your wife and you turned the lights off and before you guys started, you said, hold on, I gotta get something out of the closet and then I very sneakily came out of the closet, I bang your wife and she thinks I'm you and then I, when I'm done, I go back in the closet, you turn the lights on and she thinks you got her pregnant. We're not doing that. Oh, come on, man, be cool. No. Let me bang your wife. No, there has to be another way I can get my wife pregnant. Well, there is a lame option. Artificial insemination. What is that? Well, it's where I see if I can find any sperm cells in this thing, and then I take one of those, and I take an egg from your wife, and I fertilize it. Wait, get an egg from mommy? Mommy's a chicken? No, Jeffy, mommy's not a chicken. Every woman has eggs inside their body. Scrambled or over easy? <laughs> Scrambled when I get done with them. <laughs> yeah. Let's just do the artificial insemination. Okay, that'll be $25,000. I don't have that kind of money. Yeah, closet's looking pretty good, isn't it? Well, can I donate this for money? Maybe to a Taco Bell. Come on, give me a deal. <sighs> okay, fine. You know what? Because we're friends, I'll do it for free. But really, just because I think everybody should have to experience the hell of being a father. Thank you so much. Come on, Jeffy. We have to get mommy. All right, I'll work on getting a sperm out of your Baja Blast. Oh, wait, shit. Which one of these was Marvin's? Uh, uh, ho hold on. Uh, w what is it Forrest Gump always says? Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Jenny. No, no, that wasn't it. That didn't help at all. Uh, with, uh, right. Right is right. Yes, right. Yes, that's right. It's this one. Okay, doctor, we're back. So what's going on, Marvin? I'll explain it. Marvin's balls are full of Baja Blast, so we need to do an artificial insemination. Now, I was only able to find one tiny little sperm cell in there, and he is barely alive. So we don't have time to take your egg out. I just have to go right in. Oh, okay. Okay, so lay down and spread your legs. Now, this might hurt a little bit, but don't worry. I'm going to numb it first. Num, 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 num. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, Marvin. Just just kidding. Unless, maybe. No. Okay, all right. All right, here we go. I'm gonna do it. Now, you're gonna feel something that feels a little bit like a mustache in my tongue. <laughs> Just kidding, Marvin. Just kidding. Unless. No! Okay, all right, this time for real. So hold still. Okay, I did it. You are now pregnant. For real? I'm so excited. For the next nine months, I'm going to take care of you. Oh, don't worry. It's not going to take nine months. No, because of all that Baja Blast, it's only going to take about a minute. A minute? Oh, yeah. All those cells are hopped up on sugar, so we should probably just hard cut to her screaming in pain. Calm down. Calm down. Doctor, can you do something for the pain? Can you numb her? Well, I mean, I can, but I'd have to take the mask off first. No, I mean like an epidural. Oh, no. It's way too late for that. She's going to have to feel all of it. Okay, now push. Ah! Harder. Ah! That's it, I'm putting my hand in there. Ah! Oh, that was way too easy. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, look at that. It's a beautiful, gigantic baby girl who's already wearing a diaper and has a bow. Oh my god, she's so beautiful! Why does she look like Jeffy? Oh, fuck. Uh, I mean, what are you talking about? She looks just like you. No, she looks just like Jeffy! Uh, okay, well, look, here's what happened. Uh, there were two cups of Baja Blast, and I just kind of made an educated guess about which one was yours. So Jeffy got my wife pregnant! Well, technically, I got your wife pregnant with Jeffy's kid. I mean, if you think about it, we all got her pregnant. You brought her here. You know how they say it takes a village to raise a child? Well, in this case, it takes a village to get your wife pregnant. Oh, hell no! There's no way we're keeping this kid! No, Marvin, I love her! Well, then you can run away and be with Jeffy! Marvin, that's sick. You crossed a line. No, this already crossed the line! You had a kid with Jeffy! That wasn't my fault! It all happened so fast! Hey, can everybody just get out of here? Because I'm starting to feel like this is kind of my fault. It is your fault! Well, I mean, look, I get over things quicker when I don't have to look at them, so I think everybody should leave, because I'm kind of freaking out right now. Okay, you know what? Well, what are we going to do with this kid? We're going to take it home and love her. Oh, no. I hate my life. Yeah, see? You're being a father already. Jeffy, meet your sister daughter. Why did you say daughter? Because, Jeffy, they used your Baja Blast instead of mine. So I got mommy pregnant and I didn't even get to do the fun part? Jeffy, they got her pregnant using a needle. Okay, I know it's small, but I'd say it's bigger than a needle, like a Vienna sausage cut in half. Jeffy, I don't think you understand how serious this is. You have a daughter now. What do you want to name her, Jeffy? Well, I've always liked the name Jessica, so I think I'll name her Jeffica. If you like Jessica, just name her that. I like Jeffica. Aww. I like Jeffica too. That's an ugly name. Hey, Jeffica, what doing? <laughs> okay, that's it. I, I can't do this anymore. I'm living in hell. Come on, Jeffica. Let's go outside and play. That's a good idea, Jeffy. Some father daughter brother bonding. I can't do this. I can't do this. All right, Jeffica. Sit right there, but don't eat the grass. Wee, wee. I said, don't eat the grass. My turn. 
<laughs> Jeffica? Where'd you go? Oh, fuck. Hey, Jeffy, where's Jeffica? Don't get mad, but the stork took her back. What? Well, we were outside eating grass, and the stork swooped down and picked her up and flew off. Oh, my God! A stork? Well, it may have been a hawk. A hawk? Marvin, you need to call the cops! Get my baby back right now! Well, maybe this is for the best. Marvin, go call the cops! Okay! <laughs> hey there, somebody call the cops? Oh, hey, it's you guys. How's the baby doing? A hawk took my baby! A hawk? Did you say a hawk? Yeah, a hawk. Well, where'd the hawk go? Up. Oh, yeah, that is where hawks tend to go. Can you get my baby back? Baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, chilies, baby back ribs, barbecue sauce. Probably not. Well, why can't you get my baby back? Baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, chilies, baby back ribs, barbecue sauce. I'm sorry, that's just a tick I have every time someone says baby back. Baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, chilies, baby back ribs, barbecue sauce. Please don't say it again. Can you get my baby from the hawk? Well, how am I supposed to do that? I don't have fucking wings, and I don't even know where the hawk is. It might be on top of some tree somewhere pecking your baby's eyes out. Or, or maybe raising your baby as one of its own, if that comforts you. Okay, well, look, we weren't supposed to have that baby anyway. It was an abomination. Why don't we use my Baja Blast and get you pregnant for real? Oh, no, I don't think you guys are fit parents if your baby got eaten by a hawk. I think you should just be happy with what you got. Well, today was a Baja Blast. I gotta go make a phone call. Thank you so much, Mr. Hawk, for taking that baby. Yes, I'll Apple pay you right now.